Hello and welcome back to Jason and Alec Go Wild. This video is going to be a little bit different um, to what I normally do. Um, I'm going to be testing biethanol fluid and also I'm going to be testing methylated spirits. We've all seen these tests online um, where they're shown in two trans years where <coughs> The, f the flame of the bio is higher than the meths and also the meths burns out quicker than the bio but I'm going to do a test a little bit different um, as you can see I've got two trangiers exactly the same size so what I'm going to do is put the exact amount of the meths in and the exactly the same amount of the bio in into each one and then I'm going to boil the kettle and I'm also going to use these so inside each kettle I'm going to put one of these in and we'll see which one comes to temperature first right so as you can see I've got both trangiers set up and um, as you can see there's nothing in each one of them at the moment And there's nothing in the pots so what we'll do first of all we we'll just put those to one side yep trying to fit everything on here so we've got the jug this normally takes enough water to fill these kettles up. So I'm going to fill this up. And then I'm going to pour it into this mug, sorry, into this measuring jug. So we get the same amount in. So if you notice this one here, it's just below that P line. It's this is exactly So that's just under one pint. So that's on a one pint one pint mark. So put that one on. So that's on a pint mark as well. So when that goes, right. Put the lid on that one. Bring it over here. Lid on that one. So we're gonna get them both in. So what I'm gonna do now, is I've got this and I don't know if you can see it there's a black line so I'm going to fill it to that black line so So that's up to the black line, so I'm going to pour that in. Actually I can do that twice. 
So let's do that. Let's give her a good test. Put to the black line. So we can go in. I'm doing that night time, so it's a little cooler than if it was in the daytime or if you did it in the house. So now I'm going to put in the methylated spirits. So up to the black line. Do it again. So all I'll do is I'll leave that, I'll leave those on the end so you can see which ones are which. Um, so let's get that inside. So all we've got to do now is light them. So I'll light this one first. The bio, because they say it's hard to, to, to light, so I like this one first, and that's lit straight away. So it's actually in the meths that took longer to ha to light than the biofuel. So we'll just wait for a second for them both to bloom and then we'll get the kettle oats on. Yeah, so this for two litres is eight pound and for 500 ml this is five pound. So you can see the difference in prices. But they said the, the bio has got a higher flame than the meths have. No, does that produce more heat? Um, we will tell. Can't wait. At least I get a nice hot cup of coffee all this. <laughs> uh. So we'll see how that goes. Once it's blooming, I'll let you know. And then we'll put the kettles on. Yep, so if you like what you're seeing, don't forget to like the video and also to subscribe to it and ring the bell. So any of these videos I do, you can get notified about them. So don't forget to like it and also put a comment on there, good or bad. So we can all teach other people and ourselves of what we're doing correctly and how we can help other people. Right, so the biofuel is actually caught around the edge. It's actually bloomed quicker than the meths. I know I'll leave that one first, but still, this one hasn't gone yet. So the first thing I see now, this one's bloomed, is that's got a bluer light than what this one has. This has got a higher red flame on there. So we'll get both kettles on and we'll see what happens. So what I'm going to do is... Put these in.
they keep on turning off so I'll keep on clicking them but as you can see the biofuel is heating up quicker than the meths so at the moment the biofuel is producing a lot more heat than what the meths is As you see at the moment, the biofuel is on 41C, where the maths is on 34. So, so far, the biofuel is a lot hotter than what the maths is. So as you can see the bioethanol at the moment is on 72 and the meth is on 65, 64, 65. Just to make sure I'll swap these two over. Just in case one's faulty and one's showing up a different temperature. As you can still see, the biofuel is on 77 and the mass is on 72. So the biofuel is actually hotter than the meths. I think this is going to overflow because it's just right to the top. Of each boat. <laughs> I should have looked at that. There we go. It's an experiment. Things can go wrong, can't they? So boiling is at 100 C. So as you can see this is nearly boiled, it's on 96, where this is on 87. So that's on 99, and you can see the top's going to come off. So. That to me, that's done. And this is on 96. Same thing again, the top's coming up, 
It's on 99. I don't want to overfill it, so we'll call that done. So as you can see with the bio, it has got a higher flame than what the meth has. So we'll see which one burns up first. And as it's still burning away, I'm going to have a cup of coffee. So we're boiling this water and not treating yourself to a nice cup of coffee, is it? Cheers everyone. Oh that's nice. And then with the other water, I'm going to put it in the flask. <laughs> the price of electricity, oh that's hot. <laughs> Why waste it? So yeah, if you look at more flames, the bio is definitely higher. But so far, for the value of what bio costs to what methylated spirits cost, meths cost. Um, to see what's left in, inside, but so far, to me, biofuel is a lot better. Plus, it doesn't blacken all your stuff neither. So that's why I found so far, biofuel gives off more heat than what the mess does. Nice cup of coffee, cheers everyone. I don't know what the bio is like in freezing conditions, but so far, it's really good I find. What I'll do as well is, as soon as one of them goes out, I'll set up a a stop stopwatch to see how long the other one lasts for. So that'll be another test we can do. But with the flames, I find the flames the same height. But people were saying the biofuel is higher. I don't see that. I see those the same height so far. I think the biofuel is going to run out before the meths is. But by how much? And like I said, the difference in price where well, this is £5, the other one is £8. So if you equivalent the bio to this, it's only £2. So you're actually saving £3. Um, So if this does burn longer, overall, you know, does it work out to be equal? But this is obviously the cleaner fuel, so it's a good little test. I've not seen this one done before, where the boiling stuff, but this definitely is hotter than what this one is. That's been proven that.
So you can definitely see now with the bio, it's flickering. It's that's definitely running out quicker than what the meth is. But the burn now is gone. It's just a flame in the in the centre. So I'll get my stopwatch ready. And then as soon as that one goes out, then we'll put the timer on. So this just seems like it's on its last couple of flickers. Sorry about that, that stopped for some reason. But 124 seconds after that's gone out. So that's still going for a second. So, so far we're coming up to a minute now. So that's out. Well, I've come inside because it's freezing outside. So I thought a little experiment I did, which I thought went quite well. With ethanol and methylated spirits. Or to these two. With the price of them, this is £8 for 2 litres, like I said. And this is 500 millilitres, and that's £5. Um, I found this got a lot more heat out of it than this one this one did burn longer than this one but this one the bio it doesn't blacken your pans and stuff like that which this one does so another experiment would be in cold temperatures you know minus one minus two is this going to light um, but one experiment, great. I had a free cup of coffee <laughs> and I filled up my thermal flag flask. So I had two cups of coffee. But uh, yep, yeah, great experiment. But I think I'll be using this from now on. This has come out tops to me. I always, I've always bought this. I've got a few bottles of this because I thought this was better. But this is my choice from now on. Cleaner fuel. It burns better. And it heats up a lot quicker. So this is one for me. What do you think? Thanks for watching. And like I said, if you like what you see, please like. And don't forget and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget the little bell on the top so you'll get notified for any other videos I come up with. Um, thank you very much for clicking on this one and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye for now.